So here's a little view of um, the, the load lifter situation after you install the extensions. Um, it gives you a little bit extra lift here. Normally it's just completely flat um, and flush with this strap. So this, when you pull on that, just lays down. Um, and basically what's going on inside, got a couple of these extension brackets. Um, this one still has the padding on it. I put this padding it's like an adhesive tape right here and there just so that when this is rubbing on it all day that just keeps it in good shape probably isn't needed um, but I figured it couldn't hurt only way to grammar some more this one I took them off so you could get a little better look what's going on excuse the terrible camera work um, but you can see the there's like a, a piece of nylon strapping that they use to tie into the load lifter right there and so I made a little clamp set up here that clamps from the top and the bottom um, and that's how that holds itself on so when you pull on the load lifter and you can pull really hard on this it doesn't look as secure as it actually is I purposely did this where it bulges out um, so that it wasn't um, you know pulling the material from the pack inside there um, so even though it's doing that it's not it's uh, it's firmly in there with these bolts um, I was going to go ahead and remove this completely, but I figure I can just show you. Um, it's pretty simple. There's basically a channel in there, and this thing is a pretty tight fit. So what you end up doing is, with this one sticking up above the frame, go ahead and slide that one on this direction. It will take some force, and you'll kind of hear it click into place. And then you'll do the same thing down this direction after this one's on. You'll shove down on this side and uh, take some force to get it to finally click down in there. Just make sure you wiggle it down until it feels like it's nicely on there and, and fully in, seated in that pocket. And then you'll do the zip ties. Uh, a little trick with these is after you wrap them around and get the tag end coming out, you can grab that tag end with your pliers, with like a pair of needle nose, and grab right up next to that little area right at the front and then twist it and twist, 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 and it'll just eventually snap off. It'll tighten it really tight, and then it'll snap off. Um, and do the same thing on both sides, and this thing will be rock solid on there. Um, yep, and then it's just basically rinse and repeat on the other side. Okay, so I removed one of the clamps here so you can kind of see what's going on. It's got some serrated teeth to grip um, the um, little nylon webbing. And I left one on here just a little bit loose so you could see that's a good way to start the install as you put one of them on um, and just leave it loose. Then you're going to feed the uh, bottom of the webbing into that and tighten things down. So I'll go ahead and do that and show you. Okay, you can see I got the bottom one on. It doesn't look like it's in there super far, but that's okay. You basically um, shove it in there and then push this flat against the base plate and kind of push downwards towards that clamp while you're screwing it in. Um, that's It's a little fiddly at first with this very first one, but once you get that in, it gets a little easier. Uh, once it's tightened, it'll look a bit like this where only about half of the clamp has material under it. And that's totally fine. Um, next, what we'll do is put the two top screws in, um, try to shove this piece of fabric behind it so that they kind of interfere with the screws. So you kind of have to shove this piece of fabric behind the screws, and that'll kind of hold it in place for you a little bit while you feed the other clamp on. I'll go ahead and do that and show you the result. Okay, now I've got the clamp on there loosely, and what you want to do is before you tighten it down, kind of push right where the the uh, connector or the load lifter connects upwards to kind of push it into the clamp as good as you can and then tighten everything down. Okay, once it's screwed down, you can take one of these adhesive pieces, take the backing off, and slide it in behind here and kind of uh, tape it on flush. And then after that one's there, you can take the other one and take the backing off and lay it flush with the front. Um, and that'll just protect your fabric um, from, you know, friction rubbing over time. I think it would probably be fine without it, but it sure, certainly can't hurt. Last note is uh, don't be afraid to, to tighten those screws down pretty dang tight. You're not going to break the plastic and um, that'll make sure that when you, you want to be able to pull on these with some force and you can test that after you're done to be able to pull on that strap while holding onto the bracket and just make sure that you can tug on it pretty good um, and it doesn't slip at all.